Wednesday, November 14th. Um, so we're going to log into in Inspire Science and get to the lab photosynthesis and light. Um, our outcomes are the same from yesterday. We are focusing on photosynthesis and how that light affects photosynthesis uh, because you're conducting an investigation about how light affects photosynthesis. Uh, so the plan for the day, uh, we want to share data from all three stations from yesterday. We want to complete the remainder of the lab, which includes graphing, and add any of this new evidence to the CER process that we began uh, last week. So what that means is we need to do two things. We need to hop out to lesson um, one lab under the Explore and Explain called Photosynthesis and Light. Once you open that up, you'll recognize it from yesterday. Uh, I am going to skip past the initial procedures and get to the data entry because here is where uh, we need you to go. When you hop over to Classroom, you'll notice that I added a new um, list of materials under the Inspire Science topic called Lab Photosynthesis and Light Class Data because there you have a video overview of how to enter data in the spreadsheet as well as a link to the spreadsheet. So you're going to be adding in your class data if it doesn't already exist. In other words, if you know you were working with a group of six people, all six of you don't have to enter the data. Uh, just enter the data once for the group. We just want to make sure that we have representations from each of the three light bulbs in that, in that uh, spreadsheet. So we can then come back here to the lab and enter in information in these remaining three uh, slides. And I'm going to get to the last one in a minute because here you have an area to do a graph. Now it is good practice to do graphs online. They are part of this testing, the next gen science standard testing, but this is also a chance where doing it in your book or getting a blank piece of graph paper might be beneficial, especially on a practice run before you get, you make sure that your graph is correct. Uh, and then we're going to finish this up. And once we finish this up, then you're going to want to hop back into the claim evidence reasoning because there's a step in this process uh, where it says add more reasoning. Uh, I think uh, evidence, I think they call it A. Once this loads, we'll, we'll be able to tell. Um, actually, that's B. So in slide four, yes, from A, what evidence have you discovered? Uh, slide A talks about this lab. So any evidence from this lab is going to go into the fourth slide on the CER process. Uh, and then once you've got that done, uh, you are ready to move on to the next step, which we'll do tomorrow.